I'm also nervous to bring up this next story. Uh, I don't want to tempt fate, but there hasn't been a big earthquake on the southern San Andreas Fault for a long time, and we may have found a reason why. Yeah. That's a live look at my nightmares, earthquake 1974. For years, we've talked about predictions of the big one. The southern San Andreas has gone without a major quake for 300 years, and seismologists always say we're overdue for a quake of 7.0 or greater. And we may have avoided one due to a different natural disaster. New research published in the science journal Nature shows the drying of the salt and sea might be to blame or thank. The study looked at the fault for the last 1,000 years and found a link between full lakes and earthquakes. They put all the data into a, complica a complicated simulation and found that the connection was, quote, astounding. Basically, the pressure from the water puts stress on the plates and causes the shaking. Now, one geologist says that this is totally plausible, though it probably will be debated, of course, just like all scientific studies. The Salton Sea, its own natural disaster, dried up due to the drought and diverting of the Colorado River. That is fascinating, Isn't that actually. Wild? Makes sense. I know. Mm. You're kind of like, cool. Don't put water in it. <laughs> Keep no that water rain. away. Uh, and that, uh, well, what can I tell you? The rain's going to continue, at least for portions of Southern California.